Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and April here again, showing a smart spine protocol and organizing the head, neck, and shoulder girdle. And this one is helping to open up the side of the neck, also addressing rotation, um, but, but really um, targeting in on lengthening and hydrating the scaling muscles of the neck. So the scaling muscles are intimately connected to the fascia of the upper lobes of the lungs. And so if someone um, through habit or structure, stress, et cetera, et cetera, doesn't have the breathing space and the organization, then the scalings are just gonna keep the lungs drawn up and making movements like ab curls and, and that, that sort of thing really hard, never mind just taking an optimal breath. So releasing and hydrating these structures is just gonna create easier movement in daily life and in the studio. So again, we have the first cell at her occipital base and then I'm taking one handle of the smart spine and my palm is facing away from me right now and I'm gonna place the warm globe on her left shoulder here and uh, I'm gonna turn her head and I want that bowling ball head feeling where she's really pouring the right ear into the smart spine and then she'll take an inhale into the heat and then on the exhale, I'm rotating the globe and I'm rotating the smart spine a little bit to give her more length between the shoulder and the ear. And then on the inhale, I back off a little bit. And then exhale, bringing her into a little bit more length and then gently releasing back. And then I might choose, depending on the client, um, to bring, bring the globe further in or even further out on the shoulder. So she'll take a deep inhale again and exhale. So now I'm into sternum, upper breast tissue. I was doing this protocol, and you keep breathing, April, on a post-pregnant client who is um, breastfeeding and really, really effective for her in releasing her scalings, getting more length uh, through the chest, and releasing the shoulder girdle. And she loved it with the heat. So that might be a population that you might want to try this with. And one more, exhaling, breathing into this top side of the neck, letting your shoulders just fall towards the mat, and release. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.